all of you have to make a google form in your ICT class first you have to go to your email and then search forms it will open a new blank form where you will click and get a blank google form it will have untitled form and form description where you ha all I have to edit the ICT and add your semester and a little description of your subject if it doesn't take the title wait for a minute then click on the add button plus button you will get a second questionnaire form that will be added one by one add four to five templates for your question and change the heading or the title I am putting sem 6 including your IDs detail it's for ICT class so I will type ICT description ICT description okay it's 4 then we will edit it to semester 6 IDs now come to the first template it will look like a question but here you have to add your question that you wanted to give to your student here I have said all of you to make your LinkedIn ID so I am putting the LinkedIn LinkedIn IDs that you have to fill here when I will send the Google form to you it will look like the LinkedIn ID that is a short answer you have to uh, tick on the short answer and then required means that is compulsory coming to the next question I have also said all of you to make the research gate and google scholar id to make in your ict class so the second question will be research gate research gate id again you have to click on the short answer because it will be a shorter answer for your question tick on the required button it, because it is also a compulsory question for all of you now coming to the third question okay, short question tick on the sh short answer when you will open the template it will look like a number of responses but you have to put the idea that is a short answer question you can make a number of different google forms and you can select your option here then coming to the question number three it will be google scholar google scholar id c scholar id short answer 
again we will take over the short answer you can go for a pro, uh, paragraph and it is required means it is compulsory so we have email id linkedin id research gate id google scholar id that is required i haven't ticked it so now i am clicking on the required option that is compulsory question for all of you ICT description SAM 6 ID and then the detail will be research IDs that will be the description then add one more template that will include your name in bracket you can write in capital letters in go for the short answer required means that is compulsory one template I am adding one more ok 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 I got it LinkedIn ID got deleted again I have to add one more because because of some error it has been deleted so I am adding the next one for LinkedIn ID short answer and required again I have added the LinkedIn ID for all, all of you and the last one that has the untitled question where I will put your responses uh, no, uh, not benefits it will be your response Hence, after making your google form after making your ids and filling this google form what is your response and uh, Have you learned a good thing while making your Google form? It will be good. Average experience or the excellent one. What you have felt while making these IDs by your own and your Google form via this video. then it's all complete here you have to tick for the multiple choice option and required because you have a number of you have a number of options now come to the response button because i have not sent the form to you so there will be no response come to the setting part If you wanted to make a, it a quiz, you can tick it here. And here you have to tick that you will get a copy after filling your form. Sometimes you fill your form and you get a copy of this form in your mail saying you have to tick here. And after filling this form, you will get a mail that what you have filled in your Google form. So for your google form you have to tick all these points because you are making your google form and you will get the response but what about the respondent or what about your students so for future use they will have this now 
the form is complete and how you will send to your users you can send it via mail but that is the most common form is via link click on the link now when you have to send this google form to your student you can send via email or via link the best one is the via link so click on this a link will be generated go to the copy and then open your whatsapp chat i have selected for the sim sim 6 and here open your chat paste your link then the link has been pasted and enter